What's going on everybody? It's me, Elric, at Tech of Tomorrow, and I'm here with my homeboy, Ransom, from Thermal Take. CES 2013 has been a huge success, and Ransom has lots of new products. So, bro, tell us what's going on. I've seen a floor full of shit well, out there. Well, check this out. This year, we have the Chaser A series. So, which means you see the Chaser a long time, but it's expensive. You're thinking about getting one, but now we make it more affordable. So I want you to check it out with Eric here later on. Besides that, and we know Thermaltake make a lot of performance case and all we goes is fancy. But, but this year in 2013, we make something more solid. Now, solid is just the panel. What happened is it's conservative, it's nice, it's sleek. All right, guys, so with that said, let's hop out into the thermal take floor and check out these hot new products for 2013. Let's See go. Ya. All right, guys, so here we have it. We've got the chasers right here behind us, and Ramson's going to tell us about these new products. So let's let him get in here and let's go over these products. Okay, this is the chaser A71. A71 is a full tower case. you got all the hot drive that you ever need. Of course, we don't miss all the five and a quarter bay. Some people still need that. You see you have a huge space right here for your extra long performance video cards. Now, think about heat in the computer system. You want a good cooler? You have a lot of space to put a big cooler around here. And don't forget about cable management. You can see all the cutout. It's just for your cable management. When building a PC, cable management is important for the airflow. So, friends, out of the chaser, this is the top of the line, right? This is the top of the line this chaser. Is the, this is coming in at 140, but they go all the way down to 99. So now that Ransom explained that one, let's check out the Chaser A31. I'm going to go ahead and just move this out of the way. Bring this out. Excuse me. This is the mid tower of our Chaser A31. Very affordable. What are some of the great features, Ransom? Well, this is very affordable case. We have USB 3.0. Two of them, not just one, but two. We got a fancy power light. You can see that. That costs a lot of money to do that. Now, of course, we don't scheme on the reset button and we don't scheme on the audio part. Now, what's great about this case is you can see the color accent with blue. And you have good airflow in front and through the back. Now, for a case of $79.99, this is a steal. Now, you check that out. We put a big little compartment here so you can put your coins, your phone or anything you want without losing it next time. That's awesome, man. For the price, it's really cool stuff. So now let's move down, folks. Let's take a look at the Chaser A41. Go ahead and probably get the side of the case off here. And let's bounce in here. So Ransom, what are we talking about here when we're talking about the Chaser A41? This one's 99 bucks. A little higher price, what are some of the great features about this one? Okay, so the Chaser A91, you can see the top part. The case is wider, so we can put a super huge cooler. That's the largest cooler from Thermaltake. It's a Frio OCK. OCK. That's right. You're right, Eric. Fantastic. Then, you can see, we can fit quite very nice on an ATX motherboard. Then you got four hard drive tray. That is an easy removable tray. You don't have to screw. You don't need that. And again, we never want to skip on a five and a quarter bay. We give you that. So this case has more airflow. It's totally different design than an A31. It'll show you up front. So what about cable management on these ones? Right? So there's a cable management on the back of these. Are they all really well as well? I know that you guys usually have that. I know that a lot of the people out there are going to want to see that. It's always important to them. So let's go ahead and remove this back panel. Oh yeah. No, no, no. Take a look. Where you guys can see there is plenty of room for cable management. I don't want to touch anything and show anything out, but you guys can see plenty of room back here in a $99 case to hide and keep all your wires looking good in a clean bill. Plenty of room right here. Bring your cables through. Good to go. Fantastic. Now, guys, we got one more to look at. It's basically the same case as this, but it's in white. A41 Snow Edition. You guys can see we got the Frio OCK Snow Edition in here. 
Got one of their newest power supplies in here, platinum certified. Oh yeah. Now this thing's just exactly the same as that one, except for that it's the white edition for those people who like those bills. All right, so check it out. Next up, we have the Urban Series cases. These things are street worthy and have street cred. So let's start looking at them. Right here, we have the Urban S21, $70. $70. The Urban is pretty nice. So Ransom, what are some of the great features about this entry level Urban S21? Well, Urban S21 is a case that we meet to the basic need on a computing. While normally basic case, you don't get all the features like Thermaltake. What we have for you here is, you can see all the toolers for the hard drive. Toolers for a five and a quarter bay. You got good cable management. You have a nice 14 cm fan up there. It can fit water cooling. So all contain water cooling like water, water 2.0 performers. That's right, great water cooling system by the Fantastic. way. Fantastic. We got a huge hole cut out. Just your power supply don't get hot. And finally, we don't skim on the metal quality. This is solid. Solid. Now, folks, let's move up and around the table. We have the Urban S31. This one's $89.99, but you guys can see right off the bat, when I get the camera to come down here and look at this thing, a lot of features on this one. Looks cool looks all the way. We got a removable front panel, it looks like, right here. The fan filter is removable, so you can clean as many times as possible. Also, up here on top, I see that you have a space here to put up an SSD or a regular hard drive up here on top, so you basically have your dock right here on oh, top. Yes. To buy a dock, it costs you about $50, but instead, we give it to you for free. In the case, which is a really great value. All of the controls are up here on top, you guys can see. What kind of fans are we looking about right in here, Ron? So what do we got underneath here? Well, this one, you can put either a fan or you can put a 240 radiator for water cooling. So this so will take a 240 right into it? You'll take it right into it. Okay, because there's a company out there, they, they call themselves Nanoxia, and they claim that their case is the only one on the market that can do that. So you are calling bullshit on that, right? Kind of. All right, then. You gotta ask Shannon about that. Well, here we go, folks. Up on top, I'm gonna bring this around to the camera and get in there. Up here on top, the ability to place a dual rad. You can see they have a pretty large fan here now, but this would not even be your actually with your water cooler, it'd be just have your block down there. Plenty of room inside the case, removable bays, cable management looks like it's going to be pretty decent. I see the stuff here, so I'm going to go ahead and lift it up and show you guys the back of it. I know how you guys are out there after a bunch of videos. All right, that look destroys the thermal tape booth. All right, here we go. Um, if their lawyer calls me, you know I did it for you guys, the fans. And I, and I might need to borrow some money for an attorney. Just kidding, all right, so check it out. Here's cable management on the back. It's pretty decent, it's not super extreme. Remember, this case is under $100. It's not really even in the enthusiast level price. It's in almost entry level price. So that's that one. Let's move on and keep going up the ladder. Well, don't forget, our case is coming windows opening so you can show up what inside your case. All right then, so next up, we have got the Urban S41. This one comes to market, you guys can see, at $129.99. And you guys can see, it just looks like it's basically the bigger brother or bigger sister, depending on how you want to look at it, to the case we looked at a second ago. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this up here, you guys. See, dual USB 3.0 on the front, USB 2.0, microphone, headphone. You got the whole front grill here again, which opens up. You guys can see all of the bays are completely removable out of here. Now this thing is really nice, very tall, fit almost any component in. I'm gonna spin it around right here, let you guys see the side. Once again, up on top, we can see there already is dual on the top with the water. You can see this is the water 3.0. Very nice, lots of room inside this case. Also, bring up here to the top. See, we have removable filter right here on top, which is great because you can wash it, remove it. If you live in a dusty neighborhood like I do, this can really come in handy. We also see, prevalent through all the models, you can see right here, once again, we see the dock on top. Once again, a value just inherited into the case for free. Last but not least, folks, let's go ahead and let's look at the cable management because I know you guys like it and you guys said you want to watch long videos, so hey, we're going to give them to you. 
You want it long? We're gonna give you long. Don't say we didn't give it to you. That way when someone asks you, you can tell it. That way I gave it to you long. Plenty of room back here for cable management. This is an enthusiast level case. You guys can see it's built for that. Completely flush, no sharp parts at all. Very well made. Lots of cable management again. Move all your cables and everything inside and out. Totally good to go on that. And one more. And folks, check this out. You know what is this? Sound dampening devices. So this case will not only be nice, it'll be nice and quiet. Now, last but not least in the Urban series, we have the last up. This is the Urban S71. This one's at $139.99, you guys can see that. And once again, it's just growing in size. We see this one's a little bit bigger than this one, so it's probably gonna fit. Does this fit the giant size motherboards? Oh, yeah. Like SRX? All right, so not then. that one, not but that big. extended ATX. So once again, we see the basic features again on the front. We've got them different places now. Now the 3.0s are on the left-hand side instead of the right-hand side. Same features as Bay's before, a little bit more, but same essential stuff. Filter right here in the top. Removes, you can see the fans behind there. This is totally removable, and then you afterwards you can clean it however you want to do it. Flip it around the side again. You guys can see all the bays. Quick lock all the way down, removable, simple to install. No tools required, whatever. Just pop your drive in there and go on with your day. Go to the inside of the case. You can see there's plenty of room, as we said before, to, to support the extended motherboards. Once again, we see a water cooler. This is a single one right here, all built in one. Same stuff on top again, folks, too. You have the removable filter. All the same things. Removable filter. I'm going to swing it around here. We have the bay. And then last but not least, like usual, let's take a look at cable management options. Let's go ahead and take the back off. Now this case is a little bit different than the other one. You have a lot more spread out to spread your cables. Instead of being as wide, it actually offers you more space so you can spread things out. You can see you have different areas down here and here now for running your cables through. Ziploc tie. Oh, there's also here on the side, little things right here. So you can Ziploc tie all of your cables down and keep it looking totally clean.